Hello guys, it's Sir Otter and welcome to how to make origami BB-8. Uh, so this is an origami piece that I made a long time ago. It was my first video on the channel. And I decided that I wanted to make it a little bit better. So, starting off, we're going to take our normal piece of paper. We're going to take a ruler. And we're going to, I'm going to make a square that is 5 by 5. So I'm going to take my Sharpie and my ruler. And I am going to, oh my, I need to hold it down. And then I need to uh, make a square. And you got to be a little bit precise on this or it won't look very good. And then you take your scissors like this like these scissors and you cut along the line like so. It doesn't have to be perfect but I like making mine a little bit better than uh, I like I like making mine at least presentable so you have to go like this and this is an okay one. Then we should, uh, so for the first fold, we should go down like this, like a valley fold. And it just looks like, the reason why it's called a valley fold is because when you look at it this way, it kind of looks like a valley. And now we're going to fold down again with another valley fold. So it'll look like, maybe like some, some window pane, uh, some windows, uh, panes, things. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to fold this way, like this, and this way, like this. But this is just to make creases, so it will, uh, so we'll be able to do a, uh, a t like a upside, to, uh, inside out fold to make it look like there, it has a nice helmet. Now, you're going to take this point, you're going to move it in like so. Now, you're going to take this point and move it in like so on the same side. Okay, so the next part is actually pretty easy. You flip it over, so it's, we're on the uh, backward side, and we go like this. So there's these little folds. It kind of looks like uh, I don't know what it kind of looks like. It kind of looks like a dude with a helmet. And then we fold. We we go back to the back side. And we're trying to make it look kind of circular. So we're going to fold these quarters right here, like so. And then we're going to fold these quarters to make it so the quarters on top where the dome is going to be, to make it look kind of circular. We're not going to make it, we're not aiming to be perfect because obviously we need to uh, do, we're gonna round it off later. And later is now. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to round it off like this. Just go like this. And you just do a little bit of that. So you, so you take a little, you pinch a little quarter, and then you go like this. And, uh, just go along and make it a little bit more circular. Now the next thing that we need to do is go like so and make the dome itself more circular for its head. Now that we've done that, we need to do it on the other side. And we are done with the origami. Now for the, uh, honestly, maybe a little bit harder than the next part is going to be the drawing part. 
now we are on to the uh, drying slash coloring part. And I'm going to do a rough pencil sketch first. So the first thing we're going to do is the eye, which is a circle. And it kind of has two eyes, so we're going to go like that, like a so. And don't worry if you can't see it right now, it uh, because it'll be good, uh, because we're going to erase the line marks later anyways. Now we're going to go like that. And this is kind of making like some, this technically isn't lines that are very visible on the character itself. It's just, we're going to uh, make these lines a little bit, uh, a little, uh, we're just making the lines like visible enough so we can see it later when we're coloring stuff in. Now we're going to jump cut uh, until when the uh, when we're done with the pencil sketching. Okay, so now that we've done the pencil sketching, now it's time to do the inking. So we're going to jump cut again because, uh, and you can pause the video if you want to uh, to copy, or you can use a uh, reference image of BB-8. Uh, so yes, I'm going to do the uh, inking now, uh, which is pretty easy. You just have to uh, draw over your uh, pencil sketch and then erase the pencil sketch afterwards. So jump cut again. Okay, so now that we have uh, done the uh, uh, drawn over with our Sharpie, uh, and erase the pencil sketching, uh, the next thing that we are going to do is color. And I couldn't find any of my, uh, any of my orange Sharpies, so I had to use a orange Crayola. And, uh, so we are going to be using our black Sharpie, our orange, uh, marker, which doesn't, which I would prefer having a Sharpie, but it doesn't really matter. And our pencil. So, the thing about this part of the, uh, part of the sketch, or the, this process, part of the process, is that you kind of can't really jump cut along it because, uh, because you need to know where the colors are, and, like, I bet you could jump cut it, but it doesn't really feel as natural as if you don't jump cut it. So, uh, these... BB-8, like, when you think of BB-8, you normally think that he does have a lot of orange, but when you look back on the movies or uh, with a reference picture, uh, you can, you realize that he doesn't really have that much orange on him. He has, or you can't, I'm personifying a robot. You can't really uh, give genders to a robot. Uh, I mean, you can, but it doesn't really work like that. Uh, so yeah, he only does, I'm just gonna use the pronoun T anyways, uh, because I am a guy, so I identify more closely to that. Uh, so he doesn't really have a lot of orange. He only has like a few orange splotches places. Uh, so like he has orange squares on the bottom of his, uh, of his dome thing. He has two orange lines up at the top of his dome, and that is pretty much it for the orange. So we can take our orange and throw it away. Now the next thing that we're going to do is color in the blacks. Uh, now I'm going to be using a sharpie, but you can use whatever you really want. I just like the way sharpies look. They have like a specific texture, and they also um, kind of feel good to use. They're not like super, uh, they're not super dry. They don't dry up easily, but it, they're not super wet, so they don't bleed very, like too much. Now, we're done with the uh with the black too so we can throw that away also now the last color that we are going to be using is going to be the gray 
So we're going to, uh, you can actually use a gray, a light gray, uh, a light gray marker, but I couldn't find a light gray marker so, because, and I'm lazy, so I'm using a pencil. So you just lightly sketch with the pencil. You don't, uh, or color and not sketch with the pencil. Uh, you don't actually do anything hard because if you do anything hard, it won't look as good as this because this kind of looks, this kind of gives a, a nice marker aesthetic. So we're going to be coloring in a little bit more, just like those little fine details, and this just kind of brings the uh, drawing or the origami together. Like you're, you're folding a piece of paper, but it really doesn't look like origami unless you color it in. It just looks like a piece of paper that's like shaped like a do like a circle with a dome on it if you don't color it in. Now. Once we've, uh, once we've finished this, it does look a lot like BB-8, but there are a few details we most like, you most likely would want to do, and this just makes it a little bit more sturdy. Now, I'm not an origami master, so I'm going to be using tape, uh, because tape is just like bread and butter, uh, and I haven't done origami in, like, more than, like, I haven't done origami in, like, one and a half years to two years, so I'm not too good with the medium. Uh, so I'm just gonna tape down the back because, like, nobody's looking at the back. Uh, so, because, like, look at this, it isn't even colored in. I mean, you could, like, you could do this and then do it again and then, uh, put him side back to back to make like a really nice one, but I didn't really, uh, I don't really mind not being able to look at the back. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is I took, uh, I'm a naughty boy, so I took two paint brushes and I cut them apart with my scissors. Uh, and this kind of makes it look like an antenna. So now we're going to go in the back and we're going to line it up kind of well, then we're going to take our tape, like so, and we're going to put it over here. Now we go like this, and we're just putting it on top so it kind of looks like an antenna. Now you can use things like paper, but I kind of like the way the, uh, the way the uh, the sticks look because like it, it kind of it kind of reminds you that it isn't it isn't the actual character it's art or it, it's like an artsy crafty character so now that we're done with this I just want to remind you if you like the video and you want to see more leave a like and subscribe uh, because that's the best way of uh, letting me know and um, obviously the best way is commenting and saying I would like to see more of this but like if you leave a like and you uh, and you subscribe that's the best way that's one of the best ways of letting me know that you want to see more content like this so I'll see you guys later and goodbye